Good afternoon, Eric. So it, let's talk about you. You were the first uh, gubernatorial tweet I saw out after President Biden's vaccine mandate speech, saying uh, the, the, you would take a stand against this. And I know you've been working with other governors to to take a strong stand against it. And wanted you to bring us up to speed on it. Well, really, what the president's done is created more chaos. I think he's just trying to distract from the disaster, disastrous pullout in Afghanistan, the crisis that we still have on the border. The domestic crisis that we have with runaway inflation and a lot of other issues, not to mention them talking about raising taxes on small business owners and hardworking Georgians and other Americans around the country. But listen, this has created chaos. I mean, we don't even have the rule out yet. All kind of people are calling going, what does this mean? How are we going to implement this? I have over a hundred employees, the folks that are adamant about not getting vaccinated. They're going to quit, go to work for my competitor that has, you know, 60 employees, and then I'm going to be the one that's screwed on this. And it, it's, you know, typical of this administration. They haven't thought this through. It's going to be a logistical nightmare for companies and HR directors that already have more issues that they're dealing with trying to find enough people to hire now because of the Biden stay at work, stay at home, you know, get paid at work, you know, by not working policy. And so, you know, we're trying to figure out legally what our options are. We won't really know that until we see what the rule says. But, uh, you know, and I'm like you. I heard you talking earlier, Eric, about the vaccine. I've been vaccinated. It's a medical miracle. Credit goes to President Donald Trump and Operation Warp Speed. And what I'm doing is telling people, look, go talk to your doctor. Nobody trusts the government anymore because of all these mixed messages coming out of D.C., not only on this, but on other things like, you know, get vaccinated, wear your mask, take your mask. You know, now they want to put your mask back on. Um, they said they weren't going to do a vaccine mandate. Now they're doing a, a vaccine mandate. The vice president said she wasn't going to take the vaccine. Now she's ordering everybody else to take it. It's just insanity. It, it Not only is it insanity, but it just seems unworkable, too. I've talked to a number of businesses, and they said, well, number one, there aren't enough OSHA enforcers out there, but two, uh, the, if the alternative is you got to get tested every week, th- that we're already in short supply around the nation with the with the COVID tests again, and uh, they employers just don't see any manageable way to do either situation uh, from the vaccine testing and the monitoring standpoint from OSHA or the the regular COVID testing. Yeah, and the thing is that there's many companies already that have programs. You know, there's companies that have already you know, taking stances on the vaccine or implementing incentives. Local governments are doing that as well. And we've seen that these mandates, you know, the Democrats have been putting them in place. They're not even enforcing them. Uh, All it does is create, you know, really disagreement amongst Americans out there that are very opinionated and polarized, quite honestly, because of the mixed messages coming out of the White House. And to me, we don't need to focus on that. You know, we don't need to focus on further dividing the country And this is the president that said he was going to unite the the country. You know, we should focus on being civil and educating people about the vaccine and not try trying to bully them into taking it and and work at it that way. I mean, that's that's basically how the AIDS vaccine works. You know, people wouldn't take it early on because it was mandated. They started educating people and now it's doing a lot of good out there. And it's the same same scenario, you know, different year that we're dealing with right now with COVID. How do you, as as an elected official...